Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended Tips and Tricks video. My name's Ben, we are the Beard Guys, and today I'm going to walk you through how you can maximize your FPS in Ark Ascended, fix your screen tearing issues, as well as help you deal with the annoyingly tall grass when in first person mode. All of the things I'm going to go through today have been tested on and work on Arc Console Edition on both official servers and unofficial and single player servers. You'll still see a benefit to using these on PC of course, but these are done specifically with console in mind. The first few we're going to look at will help increase performance whilst having a minimal hit on your graphical quality. So these are ideal for Xbox Series X or PS5 players. After that, there's a couple more commands I'm gonna show you that you can try out if you're on the Xbox Series S and you need further performance gains that might give you a bit more of a hit visually. As always, I'll put a full chapter listing in the video description down below, and I'll also put a full list of all of the commands mentioned in today's video down there as well. So the first thing you need to know if you're trying to do any of these things is how to use console commands on Xbox or PlayStation. First up, you just need to press the pause menu and go into settings. And once in here, go over to the advanced tab. And on the left hand side here, you'll see console access by default, it's set to off. Just change that so it says on and then click save. And then when you go back to the game and open the pause menu, you see in the bottom left of the screen, it now says console command and the button you need to press it, which on Xbox is the back button button. So hit that button, that's going to bring up this menu here. You can do this in single player, on unofficial and on official servers. There are some commands that only work on unofficial and single player and some that won't work on official, but all of the ones today do work on both on PvE and on PvP. So when you open this menu for the first time, this will all be blank here. It just shows you your most recent 10 or so commands used so you can quickly use them again. In order to enter a new command, just click on the box at the bottom here. It will open up a text prompt and then type in whatever you need and press start and that will enter the command. The first thing we're going to look at is how to show your FPS on screen just so you can see it a bit more easily and that is by entering the stat space FPS command. So we're going to open this up, we've got it already typed in here, stat space FPS, we're going to press start and then you're going to see in the right hand side of my screen we've now got this tiny little FPS counter. And because this is on a single player server I'm just going to do GCM which enables creative mode just so we can fly around and show you the graphics a little bit more easily. So this this is with everything on default and it looks pretty nice, but you will find the frame rate a little bit jumpy. This is on the Xbox Series X, by the way. The next thing we're going to do after bringing up the FPS counter is r.volumetric cloud. r.volumetric cloud space zero. When you activate this command, it's going to get rid of all the clouds. You can see immediately big difference in the sky up there, and my frame rate has had an immediate boost. Secondly, we are going to do the similar one r.volumetric fog space zero. Now, if I just move slightly so you'll see this one be a bit more impactful. You can see all this fog here in the trees. If we now activate this command here, volumetric fog, it's going to get rid of all of that fogging effect in there and help our FPS. Next up is going to be a command that is going to help fix screen tearing. Now you won't see screen tearing on this video because that's not really how it works, but basically screen tearing you will see if you're playing the game on a relatively low hertz display, like a 60 hertz display, maybe your TV downstairs, you might notice horizontal weird lines across the screen sometimes when the FPS goes high and that's what screen tearing is and the game can do quite a lot of it. If you want to stop that you can enable vsync and to enable vsync you just use the r.vsync space 1 command and we enter that and what you'll find once you've enabled vsync is that your frame rate won't go above the refresh rate that your monitor can handle. The way it actually works is a little bit more complicated than that but basically turn vsync on and you're not going to have screen tearing issues anymore. The last command that I like to use every time I come on and play arc is to do with the grass. So you can see when you're playing in first person view, which I tend to do, some of the grass in the game is just ridiculously tall and you can't see anything. It's taken up three quarters of the screen in some situations. And whilst you might think that's immersive, sometimes it can get pretty annoying. If you're in third person, uh, it's not so bad. Obviously, you can see around. It doesn't really matter. Your guy is still pretty well hidden in the grass, but you can actually see right over the top of it. But what I like to do to make this a bit more bearable is to use this command, grass.sizescale space 0.5. So if you enter this command, this is basically going to half the size of all of the grass. So when we activate this command, 
and you can see that the grass now is much smaller. We're still in first person view, but we can see over all of this grass, but there is still grass there. So these are the settings that I like to play the game on on Xbox Series X. I don't think they make it look too bad, but they do give you a nice boost to your frame rate and just make everything run a bit more smoothly. The fog one does make it so you can see underwater ridiculously easy, which I think does spoil a bit of the immersion and the sense of danger of being underwater. So if you want to get that back in your life, you might want to avoid using that or maybe just turn it back on when you're going underwater, but completely up to you, of course. But for above ground, I think this still looks pretty decent on the Xbox Series X and the performance is not bad. Now there's two more commands I would recommend having a look at if you're probably on the Xbox Series S and you really want to try and get a little bit of a higher frame rate. They will make your game look a little bit worse though. First up, following on from grass size scale 0.5, you can even turn that down to zero and it will basically just get rid of all of the grass there you go you see all the grass is completely gone uh, and it just leaves the stuff that you can actually harvest here so it's going to give you performance gains see my frame right now is going pretty steadily over 50 when we're running around here but it does make the game look a little bit weird there's a lot of these barren areas you will find some areas that still have bits of grass like over here because there's actually grass that you can harvest in some areas which is what this is but a lot of areas in the game will now just be totally barren another command you can do that will have a, oh my god, that is a lot of pteranodons. Another command you can do that will have a pretty big impact on how things look is going to be shadowed. So if we just sit here and then we go to r.shadow quality space zero and we use this command, then you're going to see all of the shadows completely disappear and the game suddenly looks very weird indeed and also you'll see your own character shadow is now disappeared there's no shadows on anything you can just turn the shadows down a bit rather than turn them off completely but i don't really like to play with these i think it makes the game uh, look pretty bad and like i said i'm pretty happy with how it runs on the series x with the settings that we did a little earlier interestingly some of these commands their values do actually go above one so if you wanted to make your grass absolutely massive for instance then you can set it to grass.size scale 20 and then you can completely kill your fps and cover the entire map in grass most of these commands you can just undo by changing the value you set to zero back to one or zero in that case but if you want to just clear all of these commands all you need to do is completely close the game now keep in mind on xbox you have quick resume as well so not just going back here and turning it off when you go back here you're still going to have arc in your quick resume you need to select it go down select quit and then go back into the game and then you'll find and all of those commands have been reset. So you can see we've just reloaded, we're back in and now everything is back to normal. We've got clouds, we've got fog, we've got shadows and the grass is default length. So that's everything for today. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did at all, then why not like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of my Arc Ascended Tips videos and help us hit that 100,000 subscriber mark that we are so, so close to now. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Ben, we are The Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>